So here's another test with my homemade hand ground watercolor. So it's just those two colors, cadmium orange deep and graphite gray, uh, which I mixed in the previous video. And uh, this is one of the ones I was kind of happy with. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I still have this cold. It's been going on for weeks now. So what are we looking at here? I guess it's silhouette shapes. Doing some negative painting here, cutting around the figure. I know I just want to get a lit figure against a dark background. And uh, I'm always looking for ways to create interesting variety. So instead of wetting the entire page, I've gone around the figure with this kind of dirty water. And that gives me a big wet outside shape. And by the time I finish painting that, I can go back into my internal shape and sort of stitch these two wet on dry areas. So I'm working the background while it's wet and then <coughs> coming in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> coming back to work that dry figure. So I think you can see that uh, what I'm trying to do is wet just where the shadows are and reserve the highlights, right? And this is a little bit of clear water just to soften that edge between the shadow and the light. So the drawing is all in, there's two contours. There's the outside contour of the figure, the silhouette of the entire figure, and then the inside contour of the shadow mass. So that's what you really need. It's, the figure's done at this point, and then now I'm, I'm embellishing. A uh, little tiny brush here with this tiny pointed round tip. Just lets me do, do some linear marks where... Um, you know, I'm implying some more cast shadows. Anatomical detail, cast shadow of the rounded form of the breast, hinting at the ribs. Yeah, this is this uh, darkest darks, maybe. Uh, the things that you might call contact shadows, like where the inside the um, knee there, where the flesh contacts, you get these darker linear forms. Yeah. So, just having fun. Testing out what this paint will do. Uh, like I said, it really is behaving nicely. I mean, uh, it's all about getting good pigment, I guess. I, I bought these pigments at uh, Kama Paints, uh, Kama Pigments, as I said, here in Montreal. So they really are the exact same kind of grind as you would find in a commercial pigment. And I'm getting uh, all the subtleties that I would want in the washes. So yeah, experiment is working good.